so why should you tip a DJ? Well, it's a really good thing to do when you learn how to tip the folks. They take care of you. That's, that's a promise. It just happens that way. It's like buying good insurance. If you're a customer requesting a song, don't bother to do a request unless you include a tip because you're changing the DJ's show. The DJ is the biggest thing of a club. That's the biggest selling point. It keeps the people up and up and they watch the crowd to see what kind of people they have in there and they can tell by looking at them what kind of music they should be playing. Especially if you're working in a nightclub with a DJ. Take care of that DJ if you're working in a strip club, gentleman's club, club of entertainment. You should always tip that DJ. I don't care if you're a brand new dancer or you've been dancing for 100 years. Take care of that DJ. I don't care if you're working there one day or for the next six months. Tip your DJ. Take care of your DJ. They don't pay DJs like they used to, where they got a real good wage and the girls tips. Uh, they pay the DJs very, very little today in, in the 2000s. It's not like the 80s and 90s where they paid the DJs outrageous and the girls also tip too. Today, they pay the DJs very little. They're doing a ton of hours, and uh, because a lot of clubs are open at four, five, six in the morning, in Memphis until eight, nine, ten in the morning. Uh, they will usually have one DJ, sometimes two DJs, sometimes three DJs on a shift. So it's really, really important because your DJ is your salesman when you're on stage. They promote you. They promote customers to come up and tip you. They play music. They showcase you with lights and whatever so that you look better. They know how to make those lights work so that you look better. Um, if you don't tip the DJ, don't expect a good light show. Don't expect any warnings of when you're on stage next in case rotation changes. That happens anytime. Uh, don't expect to get the music you want. Don't expect anything if you can't tip your DJ or your junior DJ. You really need to take care of your DJ. Um, I will tell you why. Now, I will tip a DJ more than I will a manager. Because I'm from the day and age where you always take care of your managers. The doho, security guard, everybody. Um... And you're always welcome back. If you want to work and they don't want to let you work because they got too many girls, they'll let you work anyway because it's all about those managers. But uh, when you take care of the DJ, I'm going to tell you a story. I was in Memphis and uh, I worked a double shift and I had made virtually no money. I had like a two hour drive home. I didn't course driving big Cadillac as I always have done. Um, it takes a lot of gas. And I was so tired and the DJ knew I wasn't making any money. He watched the floor. He knew I hadn't done any dancing. He knew I hadn't done hardly anything on stage. And, and he's a hell of a DJ. He's a young guy. Really nice guy. I wish I could think of his name. And a um, little blonde guy at Centerfold Babes in Memphis. And let me tell you, this guy turned around and I was sweating bullets because, you know, I had to pick up my kid, um, pay the babysitter, all that good stuff. And because I always pay my babysitters by the day. You never know what happens tomorrow. I'm going to tell you, it was really bad. I really didn't even have the gas to go home. And so uh, he turned to me and he said, look, you're tired. You've worked open to close. You know, it's like 11 o'clock now. You need to go home. Because it's going to take you a while to drive home. I said, I know I'm B. He turned around and he loaned me $40. He said, here, take this red. He said, 
Here's 40. And I looked at him and was like, what? And he goes, yeah. He said, just, you know, keep it or pay it back when you get it, whatever. I said, you know, sometimes we have those days. And I was blown away. So, you know, the next time I worked, I gave him that and an extra, extra good tip, too, on top of that. You know, it's called Pay Nick in New York. Pay a little interest there. Pay it back. Um, tipping's like good luck. Um, I don't know what I'd have done without that DJ. And I've had some other stories with DJs and stuff that were fabulous. Where they took care of me without even asking. Um, but I always got the music I wanted. If I wanted to be off stage because I had a money man in the club. The DJ would override me without telling anybody and change the rotation. Um, DJs are wonderful. DJs watch your stage. They take care of you. They know how to call it. And they are the biggest part of a nightclub. So respect your DJ. Please take care of your DJ. They are human too. Okay? When you're making good money, take care of the folks. Because when you're not making money... You'd be surprised who reaches out to help you, and that's your family in the business. That's right, your dancer family, the DJs, the people that work the clubs. Those are the people that take care of you, and they're there for you. So, please, don't let me see you bitching about tipping your DJ and bitching about how you don't want to cut loose your money. The only reason you made that money was in safety of a club with security and great DJs and great management. And great wait staff. So take care of the folks. Because one day they're not going to take care of you. If you don't. Love to you. Show the love. May the money tree crash on your stage. And you have a great one.